Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today I want to show you a few new products I got from Anchor, so stick with me. So I recently did a review on the Anchor Solar Charger, which I keep in my get home bag to keep my devices topped off or to give me that emergency charge while on the go. And I generally will charge a battery bank such as these Astro E7s uh, and, you know, give myself enough juice during the day charging these up that I have enough to charge my devices at night. In addition, I use these pretty much all week long, all the time. We keep these pretty well fully charged and you know we use them to keep our devices charged more so than plugging into the wall. It's much easier just to plug into one of these and top off your cell phone real quick because it is such fast charging. You can see this one's fully charged and this one we've been using this week. But we can charge, you know, Samsung's, Apple's, iPods, you know, anything that has uh, USB, flashlights, cameras, anything that has USB, we can keep that stuff charged not only at home, but also on the go. The Anchor E7s have a whopping 26,800 milliamps a piece. They got a five volt, four amp output. So what we're gonna take a look at today is the Anchor Power Core. Now this one has 20,100 milliamps, so not quite as much as the 26,000, but it's still a beast nonetheless. And you can see that it is smaller, about an inch shorter than the E7, just as long and just as thick, just a little bit, not as, not quite as tall. So basically operation is the same on the power core. It's just lighter and also has a better output. It has five volt, 4.8 amp output over the four amp output on the E7s. So we've been using this quite a bit. Lately, you can see there's some differences here. Mainly on the ports, you have two ports instead of three ports. They are Power IQ ports. So what that means is it's gonna automatically uh, detect your device and give it you know, the proper uh, voltage and the proper output to keep your device charged. They all have built-in protection in them uh, for voltage and also circuitry, uh, you know, surge protection so that you don't run the risk of uh, zapping your device. But you got two outputs instead of three. This one has the little light on it and the uh, power cord doesn't. So basically it's just a slim down version of the E7s. Another thing you can notice is that it has a non-glossy coating. It's got more of a, a matte finish to it. A lot of people don't like the E7 because it has you know this glossy coating and it gets fingerprints over it, all over it. It doesn't bother me at all, uh, but some people don't like the glossy coating. So these power banks are super handy, like I said, for keeping your devices charged. If you see that that's moving in the camera, it is the camera, it's not the device, it's solid on, on my end. But basically it's just that, it's just a robust battery backup. And like I said, you can use these to keep your cell phones, your GPS, your flashlights, you know, anything with a USB charged on the go. And like I said, with the E7s, we use these at home. There's always one just sitting around and we plug into these way more often than we plug in to the wall. Charging this up takes about 10 or 11 hours, but once it's charged, you know, these things last all week for us and we can get, you know, at least three, four, five, six charges off of a fully charged battery bank of this size. Again, it's 20,100 uh, milliamps and you have that 4.8 amp output so that you can simultaneously charge devices like two iPads or an iPad and a cell phone, for example. Anything you wanna keep charged, such as this Olight flashlight, you simply just plug the device in and it's gonna automatically sense the device and it will begin charging. It automatically knows the voltage with the Power IQ technology and it also has voltage boost, so it's gonna give your device the most amount of voltage that it can to charge it as quickly as it can. So another very cool product from Anchor is this PowerPort 5. Now basically this is a wall charger. You plug it into the wall, but it gives you five USB outlets to keep your devices charged. 
in a hotel room, for example, or even around the house. I'm always finding that when I want to plug in multiple devices, let's say I got a camera, a flashlight, a phone, an iPad, you know, four devices in a hotel room, for example, I got to, you know, fill up four different uh, wall outlets. I got to carry four different cables. And with this, I can just plug this in and I can plug everything in to the power uh, port five. In addition to that, you're going to get the Power IQ technology and the voltage boost, so it's going to automatically give you the most amount of current to your device. Unlike if you plug into a computer, for example, you're not going to get the highest rate of charge. So sometimes I'll take my MacBook and I'll plug in a flashlight or I'll plug in a camera and my cell phone, you know, it takes forever. And it doesn't with the Power Port 5. So an awesome way to extend your USB capabilities not only on the go, but at home as well. It's got this nice sort of rubberized coating on it and you can see it's nice and small. So you can take this with you, you know, in your bag and on the go. Like I said, it works great for hotel rooms. Now these come in a couple different configurations. They come in a, a two port, a four port, a five port, a six port, and a 10 port. But I find the five port has the best technology in it and it works well for me. So for example, with the power port five, I can plug in a battery bank, I can plug in a flashlight, I can plug in my cell phone, and I can even plug in my iPad all at the same time and charge them simultaneously from one wall output. You can even charge five iPads at a time if you'd like to. So as you can see, I use my battery banks all the time. I'm constantly charging my devices at home with these. Uh, at home, I have this plugged in and keep my flashlights topped off plug in my battery banks or plug in my phone you know whatever I want to charge I can do it conveniently all in one spot with one wall outlet I can even take this with me when I travel it's so small and compact plug it into a hotel room and you're covered with high output charging you don't have to search around for a bunch of different wall outlets it'll keep your devices charged nice and fast so these battery banks that I have are the highest capacity ones. Again, 26,800 milliamps and 20,100 milliamps. So I'm gonna leave a link below to Anchor's website where you can find out more and see all their products when it comes to USB battery banks, as well as all the different options that you can get in the power port. I'm also gonna leave a link to Amazon where you can find the most current pricing on all of these models. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. And as always guys, subscribe for more videos.